As second year engineering students, we had a joint community-based project where we had to put our knowledge to work to change a community's life. Since we were all mechanical engineering students, we decided to get involved in a design and build project. When we heard of the need at Future Families, we got excited about the idea of designing and constructing a rotary screen compass sieve to help the HIV positive community. The project would help them by lowering their labour input and increasing their production rate. Future Families is an NGO based in Shwani. The aim of Future Families is to empower people infected and affected with HIV AIDS. Future Families renders services to over 10,000 orphans and vulnerable children. Future Families has a sustainable product which is earthworm compost. We use this earthworm compost in the local communities and to generate an income for future families to continue rendering their services. Our main challenge was that the compost was being produced too slowly and that we needed to come up with a means to increase the production. After a few meetings with future families and numerous trade-off studies, we came up with three conceptual designs to solve the problem. Concept 1. The sieve is supported by friction wheels where one of the friction wheels is connected to a motor. Concept 2. The sieve is supported by a shaft which is driven by a reduction gearbox and a motor. Concept 3. The sieve is supported by a shaft which is driven by a pulley system and a motor. Concept 2 was chosen due to the simplicity of the machine, the availability of work and other factors like design and maintenance cost. Many experiments were carried out with the design and calculations to get a feel for how the compost would behave inside the sieve and the chutes. Then a series of rough calculations were made to get an estimate of part sizes, design load and capacities. Safety was one of the most important considerations and adhering to the Occupational Health and Safety Act was a necessity. The design was broken up into smaller parts and Communication amongst team members were vital for interlinking parts and subsystems. Modeling the design required the team to formulate problems that might exist and solving them at the same time. I would think that this approach in problem solving and input from all the team members led to the ultimate success of the project. The sieve was constructed from raw materials such as mild steel, angle iron, round bar and sheet metal. To drive the sieve, we used a 0.5 kilowatt single phase electric motor. The manufacturing was completed by the members of our group during our second year of study. We had the chance to apply basic manufacturing techniques and also employ safety policies enforced by industry. On prototype completion, we invited future families for a trial demonstration. We noted a few minor design flaws in the sieve, so we had to redesign and remanufacture some parts of the sieve to allow for better compost flow through the sieve. The sieve makes the work of the people here at Soboko so much easier. They work through the product so much quicker as well. The work is so much lighter as well with the sieve. It also creates much more job and it also creates a bigger income. As mechanical engineering students, one can easily get caught up in the problem while working on it in isolation. I have been looking beyond that and seeing how your work impacts other people's lives, keeps your mind focused on the goal and gives you extra energy to push through when you get stuck. Understanding how your work impacts people reminds you that you're not only dealing with machines, but dealing with living, breathing human beings. For us, it has been the most valuable experience to give back and add value to the community with what we have learned. We now realize that with our combined skills and knowledge, with effort, had an enormous impact on others. Being able to change the world step by step alongside friends is what we are all about. Dream big and build bigger. Cover us out.